I love my home. I love my house. I love all things in my country. I love my country. I love my country. I love my country. I heard the word and I'm going to help. So the reality is we have to understand that there are 11 million out of 22 million Syrians out of their homes. The reality is they're going to keep coming. I, there's no reason they wouldn't keep coming. The war is getting worse by the day. And this chaos that we have now, if something isn't done, will turn into an absolute humanitarian disaster. Imagine this happened in your own country and everything's bombed and everything's taken away from you. You know, and you have to escape to another place. Just put yourself in their shoes. These are human beings just like, like everybody else. And they have life stories, they have hopes and ambitions, they have children that they love dearly. كثير كنت خايفة لما طلعت كل مكان الناس عم تصرخ ما بعرف هو في نار كان مثل مثل حلم حلم فجأة هيك ما عرفت كيف شلت ولادي وطلعت أنا وياهم كنت أنا ساكنة بالطابق الخامس دمروا عم يدمروا بيوتنا ولما عم يتشردوا عم يتشردوا نحن اللي عم نتشرد هن ببيوتهم تركت بيتي تركت حارتي أيام عشتها كل شي تركت Help us نحن ما بدنا حدا غير إنكم تساعدونا نعيش حياة كأنه نحن إنسان وبس None of them actually want to leave their country but they're at the point of absolute desperation without resolution these people will keep coming to Europe Ultimately what we're doing in terms of Aiding the refugees is a humanitarian issue, just injecting humanity into an inhumane situation and bringing some order to the chaos. If I stop the war, I'm going to go back to my country. I don't wait for a day, or a hour.